The force last week successfully tested an AGM-183A hypersonic missile off the coast of Southern California that could engage targets after reaching more than five times the speed of sound, in a sign that U.S. weapons are catching up with similar Chinese and Russian capabilities. The U.S. is behind Russia and China in developing such weapons, as both countries' militaries have fielded hypersonic systems. In addition to the air-launched hypersonic missiles that the Air Force is working on, the military is also developing ground-launched hypersonic weapons. The missile was launched from a B-52H bomber on Friday. This was the first test of a missile prototype that the Air Force hopes will be its first hypersonic missile. Unlike two previous air tests of the missile booster system which reached hypersonic speeds, Friday's test, which was announced by the Air Force on Monday, was a full prototype with attached warhead that reached the target after reaching hypersonic speeds. Hypersonic weapons are designed to fly at lower altitudes than ballistic missiles while still engaging long-range targets. The missiles being developed by the Air Force are known as AGM-183A and ARRW, short for Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon and are intended to be fired from the air. The test of the full prototype operational missile, or what the Air Force calls an all-purpose test, was similar to the previous two booster tests in that the prototype was detached from a B-52 bomber flying off the coast of Southern California. The ARRW team has successfully designed and tested an air-launched hypersonic missile in five years, said Air Force Brig. General Jason Bartolomei, Armaments Directorate Program Executive Officer, said in a statement. I am immensely proud of the tenacity and dedication this team has shown to provide vital capabilities to our servicemen. Although seen as a long-range targeting option, Russia has used several hypersonic air-launched missiles for relatively short ranges compared to its capabilities. These attacks have been seen as an attempt by Russia to demonstrate its advanced or potentially unnecessary military technology as its stockpile of precision-guided missiles has decreased significantly since the invasion began in February.